My name is Mark Yakubuski. I'm the VP of Product Management for the Hardware Security Module Business Line at SafeNet. Well, here at InfoSec 2013, one of the other big stories, of course, is cloud storage and the security implications uh, for businesses using it. What are the main threats that you see out in the marketplace at the minute that uh, businesses should be most concerned with? Sure. Well, I think to answer the question, we need to first with the definition of cloud. And that definition of cloud differs from depending on who the audience members are. Um, we define cloud as anything from virtualized data center all the way through to public cloud and everything in between. Whether that be a hybrid cloud model or a private cloud on-premise model. Um, and so the threats also different are, are different depending on the model, right? And so the one of the things why why we why we predefine those particular models is because Right now, the biggest threat of people moving to full cloud is control, is control and trust. And so we, we see the primary target being, for now, private cloud, um, but are also very happy to be part of an early adopting infrastructure component of full cloud, full public cloud capabilities. What would you advise organizations to do when they're looking at a cloud security solution? What are the key things they need to keep their eyes open for? So I think, I think the answer again depends on what they define as cloud, right? right. It's very, um, there's a lot of similarities, right? Again, control, central governance and compliance, what are they looking for across the organization? Um, what are they willing to move um, out of their direct control from an infrastructure perspective? And if they do do that in public cloud models, what kind of, um, assurances do they have that they will get digital control? And so that example is one of the reasons that Amazon l launched its cloud HSM service on the back of SafeNet's Luna SA5 product, which was, is primarily offers the ability for those customers making the journey to Amazon's cloud to give them the security control back based on the fact that they can trust that they are the only um, end user that has access to their digital cryptographic material. A lot of talk about digital keys and their use within cloud services. Why are they important and what are they? Sure. So to answer that, um, a, a little bit of a history on you know digital keys and encryption. And SafeNet's been in the, the hardware business of encryption for quite some time. Um, we've, we've maintained our pedigree as a market leader in that. But as you move to the cloud and virtual infrastructure, um, you know the same definition I talked about earlier, whether it be private cloud all the way to public cloud, um, traditional hardware doesn't scale very well that way. So one of the things that we've seen in terms of customers evolving um, and evolving their move to the cloud, depending on their definition of cloud, is how does the hardware cryptography allow them to make that move? And the answer up until relatively recently was it's very difficult. But some of the things that have been enabled in what we've launched with our crypto hypervisor capacity as SafeNet is really the ability to stand up on-demand services, cryptographic hardware services, that act just like cloud and virtual infrastructure services. Well, of course, SafeNet's big story of InfoSec 2013 is the fact that you're announcing the world's first crypto hypervisor. Tell us a little bit about the background behind this. What was the gap in your offerings at the time that led to this product being developed? Sure. So the gap was how do we take traditional hardware security and how do we move it to the market that wants to move to cloud? Whether that be virtual data centers, private cloud, or all the way to public cloud. And traditional hardware, like traditional server hardware, didn't or doesn't scale very well. Um, which is one of the biggest benefits of cloud, the ability to scale up and down in real time. Your elastic services, real time demand for services, um, quicker time to market for applications. So those are the things that we considered when we designed, what do we want to do with our solution so that it'll be both, it'll maintain its best in market pedigree for security 
you know, the same solution that offers, uh, you know, that we, we move more than a trillion dollars a day in financial transactions on the back of our HSM technology. We protect more PKI-based identities than any other AO technology in the market. How could we take that security pedigree and move it to a cloud infrastructure? And so what we did was we abstracted the hardware. We didn't take away any of the security implications of the hardware. We abstracted it so that it can be stood up in an as-a-service model and be consumed just like cloud resources. And of course, the use of the virtualization layer is what sets this product apart from a lot of the others out there, isn't it? Absolutely. And so when I use the words abstracted, I choose that word, word purposely because it does, it does present a virtualized HSM to the end user, but we haven't virtualized the security perspective of the protection of keys and hardware. Have you found over the past year or two as the cloud services that organizations are using has increased, have you found them uh, taking the security risks as part of their development or has it tended to be a kind of bolt on after when they suddenly realize that they might be at risk? So there's, 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 a, there's a paradigm shift there that I think we're part way through. And many of the enterprises who are making that journey to cloud, again, whether it be private or public, um, traditionally, you know, five plus years ago, security was a bolt on. And it was an afterthought, and it was a, okay, we're deployed, now we better make, make sure we're secure. That is changing. Quite, quite rapidly changing, um, and most of the um, you know the enterprises and, and service provider organizations that we talk to are taking the steps to introduce security upfront within new solutions. 